Last time on The Walking Dead. Since I can remember, Clem's always been there with me. She taught me to be careful, to be quiet, to be strong, to always aim for the head, to kill people that try and hurt us, to show mercy sometimes. I always listen to Clem, always, but I've been thinking more. I don't know if she's right every time. She told me to shoot her if she got bit. That doesn't feel right. We're doing a lot of bad things. To save our friends. To protect our home. But when Clem told me not to shoot Lily, and she... she killed James, I got mad. So mad. I don't... I don't know what I feel anymore. I don't know if Clem knows either. But I remember all the rules. And the first one... is never go alone. Take over. No, we don't. Oh, no. 
turn around and walk away. Shoot her, Clem! She stabbed James in the back! You're a coward, abandoning your people just when they need you most! Something I learned from Lee, when he left me on the road. Without reinforcements, my people will lose their war. They'll die because of you! The Delta was the first place I called home, after years of wandering! I know. Why don't you write a story about it? Call it the Parable of Lily. Maybe I will. If there's a lesson here, it's that nothing lasts. Not friends, not love, not the place you call home. They'll all fall eventually. Never forget that, or they'll drag you down too. If I see you again, I'll kill you. I did. You have no idea how happy I am to see you right now. I think I have some idea. Get the fuck off of me! Oh my god, Violet! Clem, where are you? Lewis, get over here! She's hurt! Where's Minnie? What? I don't know. We headed towards the boiler room to stop the bomb, and I just... Whoa, slow down! You're... Where is she? Lewis! Okay, Vi. We've got you. Come on. Oh, shit. Can you... Can you see? I don't. Just... Don't let go of me, okay? Clem! Stay here. Oh, thank God. You guys made it. <sighs> That's a whole lot of monsters. And more coming by the minute. Stay cool. We knew this would happen. Violet, are your eyes fucked up? They're fucked up. We just have to get off this beach. Around. Ruby, Willie! Come on! We 
getting out of here! There's no end to these little shits! Put them down! Oh, shit! Clap, do something! You!
We're safe, but not for long. Damn it. It's so dark in here. This sucks. This really fucking sucks. I'll figure something out. Hmm. Perfect. Flint. I need something to burn. See her anywhere. I saw her on the beach. She was bitten, Ten. So she'll go to the next place with Sophie. They can be together. That's good. It's so dark in here. I'm working on it. It doesn't feel safe. There's too much danger outside. I wish I had a gun. We'll be out of here soon. Another one. Hmm. Gotta get home before AJ can play with it. way we're swimming through that. Wet to burn. The water's moving fast. Too dark to tell how far it even goes. nice in our room. Just have to get home first. there. It's too far. Well, we just gotta... We gotta find something to help us cross. Clem, the walkers are getting closer. Don't worry. We'll be home before you know it. Not sure where it goes, but it's our only option. Hmm, too 
far for us to jump across. There must be something we can use as a bridge. Do you think James might wash down here? I'm not sure. I hope he done. I don't want to see him like that. Drift down the river and get caught in the rocks. Could work as a bridge. Okay, we just need to go across one by one, and then we'll move the rocks out of the way. And then I'll take ten. Where do we go? Ten, do you see a light down any of these tunnels? AJ, still with me? AJ, please. 
We have to keep moving. There's... there's nothing after this. What? James isn't in there. He looked right at me, and... and his eyes were empty. There's nothing after we die. Nothing but empty eyes. AJ, I know he was your friend, and I know this is terrible. Please don't say you're sorry. Okay. <gasps> Why did you make me make my friend go away? Everything is just, just wrong. Like something spilled on the floor and you just can't get it back. AJ, every time you kill, you become a little harder. I'm scared of what you might become. I know I said you were justified in killing Marlin. Maybe that was a mistake. A mistake? You say don't be soft, but everything that you do just messes up my head. Be strong. Be brave. If something wants to hurt us, shoot it right in the head. <sighs> AJ. When we were talking with Abel, you stabbed him and stopped him from becoming a monster. You made killing look so easy. AJ, please. That's enough. I'm sorry. I'm just scared something will take you away. Aren't you scared of that too? Having to leave the world behind? And me? Kiddo, neither of us have to worry about that for a really long time. Come on, Clem. I'm not little where I believe you no matter what. It could have just happened. I don't want people I care about to leave, Clem. anyone that tries to take them away. I do. You told me I was right to kill Marlin, but I think you were confused. By what? It was murder, and I was still right. I don't think that murder means the same thing as it did when you were little, in a world that's gone now. I think that murder now is just protecting the people around you. Murder is a thing that makes us safe. So part of me wants to say you're right. Maybe words do change. And say I'm right. I know you want to be big for everyone, but you're just a kid. Like me. Sometimes you're scared just like any other kid. So I'll help. You said I just might meet a firefighter one day. Until I do, I'm just gonna be one. Even if I don't get it just right, I am. Because all it means is killing bad people who hurt other people. And I'm good at that. Like, I think I could be the best at killing bad people. I think you'd be a good firefighter. But can you not be so angry? What do you mean? Our new firefighters can't be as angry as you get sometimes. I need you to trust me, Clem. That I can tell the good people and the bad people apart. That I know when to use my gun. And that you'll let me decide for my own. Okay. Really? Firefighters have to make the hard calls, which means they deserve our trust. And if they kill to protect others, they're never happy about it. Killing people doesn't make me happy, Clem. Feel that? Yeah, that's the way out. Come on.
coast is clear. If the shore is that way, then the school is probably that way. Sim was the third. Huh? The day after AJ killed Marlon. You already know Violet and I voted for you to stay. A Sim was the third vote. Wait, that means Omar voted us out? And Ruby? Uh, yeah. Huh. What made you think of that? A Sim said you knew how to survive. He could just tell the school would be safer with you there. I voted for you because I liked you. But his reason, it was better. I just, I just thought you should know. A Sim was right. We were safer. We were more scared than we let on when you met us. That's really nice of you to say, Ten. Thank you. That's okay. Now that we're out of danger and going back home, it just made me think of it. I like a sim. If Marlon was still in charge, we'd be taken away to wherever, or dead. Instead, we fought back, because you showed us how. We weren't safe with Marlon, even in his safe zone. We were just... hiding. Huh? <gasps> You're not dead. That's good. Did everyone else escape? Damn right. They took that cart and hauled ass back to the school. But you came to look for us. Thought I lost you. Only for a minute. Longest damn minute of my life. It's over, Clem. The raiders are gone, and we got everyone out alive. Ruby said Violet's eyes aren't infected, so that's good, too. They'll all be waiting for us back home. Any idea which way that is? I haven't been out here in a while, but I think there's a bridge. That way. It's the fastest way back. Let's go. killed that woman back on the boat was that your first yeah my first it feels like bile but not quite you know or like a scream that doesn't know if it should or not you have a tendency to beat yourself up Lewis but don't do it now, because you did great back there. I don't know if great is the right word, but having a home means defending it. Yeah. Yeah, it does. I really thought we were gonna die on that boat. The dumbest shit always goes through my head when that happens. My old pet turtle Jeff, my grandma's phone number, the word that lost me the fourth grade spelling bee, recommend, 
stupid shit. Anything new this time? Before my parents divorced, they were building a house. I begged my dad to put in a skylight. Begged. Please, if you love me, you'll do it. That shit definitely didn't work. So we made a deal. I got straight A's, he'd put in a skylight. And you remembered the skylight just now? They never got to build the house. I don't even know what color it was gonna be. I should have asked. Sure should have. Well, what color did you hope it was? Oh, uh, well, maybe purple. Is that your favorite color? No, but you don't see a lot of purple houses. Why not stand out? <laughs> of course you'd say that. Of course. Okay. I'm starting to visualize the place. How many floors? Even number? Odd. How many? You gotta have at least three. You gotta, huh? Walkers hate stairs. The more floors, the better. <laughs> Fair. I call the attic. I like what I'm seeing. I could definitely live there. Give me a last flourish, though. One thing to really bring it all together. Come on. The coup de gras. The insert other French phrase here. Yeah. I think a statue of me might be a nice addition. Couldn't agree more. I'll try to keep the pigeons off it. We get back to the school, we are building that house. You really think we can? I really hope we can. Can I help? Of course you can. You're in charge of painting. Come on, we got a home to build. Okay, just take your time and keep moving forward. That's far. Really far. I think we can jump it. Yeah, I think we can. We just gotta be careful not to land too hard.
Saved your life, Lewis. Ten was gonna get you killed. So what? We just cut him loose? Gun him down like he was nothing? I didn't want to shoot him. He was my first real friend. But he was messing up again, just like when he got Mitch killed. So I had to decide. Clem said I could, so I did. Ten. I'll climb over first. 
and help you climb down the other side. Come on, almost there. Lewis! Oh, oh. oh, come on. Glim, look out! Damn it, there are too many. Oh, we'll find another way. What about you? You're trapped. We'll make it. Go. <laughs>
thinking about it, AJ. There's nothing we can do. There's gotta be something. We have to focus on getting back.
Sure, they can't smell you, so there's a fresh, juicy walker just waiting to be gutted. Grab that axe, you know what to do with it. When the monsters come, Clem, AJ, shoot them in the head. Got any more ammo? There isn't any more. <sighs> okay, then. Fuck. And the last rule I, I want to stay with you. I know what'll happen. And, and I don't care. I don't want to go. I just want to sit next to you and stay. Like that monster couple from the train station. No one would hurt us. Just sitting. Forever. Please. Let me stay. Oh, sorry, kid. But no. I have a job for you. I need you to get back to your room. I need you to sleep in your bed and have friends and grow tall. Tall.
taller than I ever was, I hope. I need you to live, AJ. For me. That's your job now. Okay, Clem. That's my job. Last rule. No. What do we do if I get bit? Are you gonna make me say it? <laughs> Just leave. But before you said I know. But now that we're here. My heart is saying something else. I can't let you turn into a monster. You have to. I'm coming.
are. All right, all right. That way. There's a nursery. But I'm not letting one of you savages take a kid.
Okay. Now, where to? Can't go back to Richmond. This whole area is a war zone. Gotta... Go? Yeah, we have to go, AJ. This place, we can't stay here. It's not safe. But it's okay. We're survivors. And the first rule of survival is... Never go alone. Never go alone. Clem? That's right. AJ? I've really missed you. So much. I know where we'll go. We'll go find ourselves a new home. Together. And I'll never leave you again. Fuck you, fish. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Who's a good girl? Is you, Rosie? Goodest girl in the world. <laughs> boom, boom. All right, girl. I'm gonna go put this beer away. Stay here and keep watch. <laughs> Looks like a bad place to sleep. <sighs> Nothing good. That's a pretty good. Better than the ground. 
This place is cur cursed. Oh, that's scary. And mean. I think this place is good. I should tell Willie this is here in case we need more bombs. V plus M. Violet plus Minnie. She used to be their friend. How can someone just make that go away? getting kind of cold. I'll bring some sticks and stuff next time. I gotta put the spear back. No! 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 Yes! Good girl! I'm sorry, Tim, but you were going to get Lewis killed. I had to do it. I hear you, girl. I hear you. Goodbye, Tin. Hey, hun. It's getting late. Just coming to check on you. Dinner soon. Okay. I'm all done anyway. That's a good scratching spot. I think it is. Oh, wow. You found her hat. It found me. Okay, hon. Um, I'm gonna go check on a sim over at the rabbit traps. Let's go home. Let's go home.
if the air is thin. So we'll find a mountain path on down the hill. Meet me where the snow melt flows. It is there, my dear, where we'll begin again. Goofball. Whoa, <laughs> easy there. You're out of bed. You're walking. And, and you have wood arm legs. Crutches. Crutches. I found your hat. It was in the creek down by the shack. I thought I wouldn't get it, but Rosie jumped right in and got it out of the water. It's all wet now. It's definitely seen better days. You know what? You keep it if you want it. I'll put it in our room. I have a surprise for you, too. Come with me. I want to show you something. So, what do you think? It's... it's for me? Yep. Willie helped me put it together. 
Come on, let me push you. <laughs> I'm flying! You sure are. Higher! I'm trying. Food's ready, everyone. Come and get it. You're the best, Clem. It's gonna get cold! Come on, let's go eat. We're coming! make a full pirate. Arr. <laughs> I wanted to wait till you were up and about, but how I behaved on the boat, it was really unfair. My head was so messed up by Lily and, and Minnie. I was so wrapped up in my own shit. It's okay. He went through hell in that boat, and I let that happen. I'm just glad we got you out of there. That's where Sim saw them. He was ranging out far past the traps just here. I want you to go. You're the boss. We need to know who they are. Maybe even see if they're willing to trade. Just keep your distance until you can make a call. Who who are? A group of survivors out beyond the old safe zone. Some kind of caravan. Are they bad people? You want to come with me in the morning and find out? I could definitely use the backup. No arguments there. Hey! Lewis, huh? Hmm, sounds kinda dangerous for... <laughs> well... That sounds like another vote for you coming along and watching my back. It'd make me feel a lot better if you went. 
someone has to watch him. I am literally right here, dude. This is the part where you tell me you'll be really, really careful. <sighs> you okay? Just... just getting tired. Hey, walk with me a sec. Katja. Uh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I stare at it too. If it was just you and me alone out there, and I was like this, I don't know if I'd make it two weeks. I'm gonna need these to go anywhere. And if we ever had to run... It wouldn't be pretty. It's okay. I'll make you a new foot. Oh, yeah? There must be a foot-making book somewhere. I'll ask Willie. Okay. Find me the foot book. <laughs> All this. It's worth it. All those times you would ask me if we'd find a home. All I could ever tell you was, we'll see. And your face would fall every single time. It's better than saying yes and lying to me. And that's what I told myself. But you want to know something I didn't tell you? I never had a plan. I never knew where we were going. I never knew anything. I just fought and fought and fought and hoped you didn't notice. Hoped we'd find something before you did. Did I do a good job? Of course you did. What are you, are you crazy? <laughs> Maybe a little. A lot more than a little. When we were in the barn, you didn't listen to me. And if you had, I'd be dead. I was right to trust you, back in the cave. To make the hard calls, even when I couldn't. You'll have to be strong for the both of us. You made it so I can. So, thank you. For everything. You're welcome for everything.
Okay, okay, in you go. Lewis explained how this works, but it still seems like magic. Alvin Jr., you ready to rock? You're so cool, Disco Broccoli. Like, the coolest. It's so cool looking. I wonder if it has magic powers. Nah. It's too bad he won't be able to draw another one. I hope you have extra crayons wherever you are, Tin. Hmm. You know what? I'm a great artist. You hear me, Rosie? Oh, <laughs> great. I miss you. I'm gonna pretend this is you still watching out for us. I think you like that. I hope so, at least. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Things are finally looking up for me this time Take it from me, I'd be lost without you I try to run away but you're Like a belly bird.